Okay, there's the back header. The last screws going into the last panel on that face here. We don't have any board on here yet. There's a few hours to go, that might happen. See, the front one's finished. And that's the front view, so header completed there, and the end plate is on all the rafts coming this way, sticking out from that. Um, the face is finished the other end, but the end plate still has to have some board put on it. There's still some time for that. Okay, so one side up, and we're waiting on the next one. The lower half is being sized up now. They start from the outside, then they work to the peak, and cut the board for the peak. Okay, so they've so they've completed that face here and end plate and that's all for today, time for a beer. We have another delivery. These are the guys with the roofing material. Well, obviously We've got a lot of roof material up there already. That's all the frame. But we have the roof sheeting. And that's being delivered now, along with the uh, the cladding for the ridge cap and the eaves and the overlap on the front plate. So all of that's coming now. We've opted for a a deeper um, capping to give us more protection from the wind going under the, the edging. There's some shooting there. metal shop they're predominantly all roof sheeting um, they have all their sheet metal on rolls and when you order it um, they've got a long bed it's not a bench a long bed uh, rolling machine that actually rolls the profile into it from a flat sheet into it's not really corrugated, but <laughs> semi that way, isn't it? Which gives it strength. The old corrugated shooting wasn't a continuous wave, but for quite a few um, decades now, that's been less the norm. And predominantly, I think we all know the profile we're talking about, which is this, which is about a six inch sort of flat with a ridge and then another six inch flat and that's uh, that's what we have nowadays so there's the sheets coming off now um, 
they are all rolled and cut to length of a continuous sheet so we won't have any um, like an upper and lower sheet overlapping each other it'll be one continuous thing so less chance of leaks something you have to note in Thailand is there's a lot of people who put roof sheeting on and when they use the tech screws tech screws come predominantly with a, a rubber washer under the head and I've seen so many of them pulling that washer off because I think it's been a case of they have a tendency to screw, put the screws in too far until they see the actual sheet sort of um, squeeze down a bit and often at that point the rubber washer will squeeze out the side and look bloody awful and not seal properly so they pull them off so that they get the heads of the screws to hit flat on the sheeting but that's really sort of defeating the whole purpose of the washer so I will watch when our, our boss man here working when they start to screw that they do do it correctly because I've seen it done wrong so many times <laughs> okay so over here there's a sheeting they're quite long and looks like a couple of links of ridge cap and then we have got the other edge sheeting and Papa Bard, our boss man, is just consulting with this chap here who is I think the delivery guy well these are the delivery guys but um, I think this chap here is actually a friend of Talony's son and uh, he said he would oversee things so actually on closer inspection yeah he is, he's actually Papa Bart's second son and that's his wife. <laughs> okay, and we've got another car down here. I don't know who that is, unless that's Jim. Like this house. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, the spacing of... What do you call them? Purlins? Those ones? Yeah looks to be about 600 which is an industry standard so from memory 450 and 600 are the two widths depending on the purpose of the roof and what it's been coated in or covered in isn't that about right or that's what i've come to sort of see over the years they tend to be the two regular sizings i see so with a decent thickness of sheet and a 600 spacing um, it'd be a di bit different to some of the other roofs that have got tin foil and sheeting and wide spacing they pick the, the thinnest, smallest, least weighing guy they've got to walk on it because otherwise they'll put crinkles in it or go through it yeah, you have to walk on that maybe that's how you pick your roofing team in Thailand look for a team that they're all older and chubby and heavy so then you know that they're going to use stronger materials because they don't want to fall through it <laughs> well that didn't take very long one side sheeted already One side to go, but I think we will have this fully sheeted by by the evening. We seem to have grown another worker. I tap on the top with no hair. I haven't seen him before. <laughs> 
Eat three. Three? Eat three. My paw. Oh! I'm not sure if he's trying to tell me that he's over under measured and needs more material or what. <laughs> need, need three. Need three. Yeah. She is always some surprise for you. down that's better wow that's all i can say wow very happy with the work the guys are doing well that's all for today guys stay tuned and we'll have another video coming to you very shortly as the build progresses further don't forget to comment and please subscribe and we'll catch up with you later bye for now guys <laughs>